Hey, hey, what's up everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, here in the backyard, I'm gonna give you the grand tour of what I like to call WAC, which stands for Walkabout Creek RC Park. Like I said, this is right here in my backyard. Crazy stuff I built back here. Well, not too crazy. My idea, my vision for this park was to have it a scale park. A place for my scale vehicles to run at along with my other uh, RCs that I have. So let me go ahead and give you the grand tour of the park, all right? All right, everyone, so show you the overall view of the park. So it starts right here at this tree, these two right here, and it goes all the way down to that tree right there if you see it. And I still got a little bit more room to work with, but right now this is just the start of it. So this right here is the main entrance into the trail. And I added a lot of cool little scale little buildings. Now I still have to do a lot of detail to them, but you know, right now it's just a platform right now to go base by or whatever. So I got this garage here, which is an old water pump housing. And uh, I'm gonna be putting some windows and some doors in there and put some scale stuff around it, but yeah, still. <laughs> All right, so get back. So this is the main entrance into the park. There's three different ways that you can go through here. So you can go to your right, Right, which takes you around the tree over by the dollhouse there or the house I have a couple different pathways to go around it and it leads right back out to the main part uh, it's going straight takes you to the main part of the trail and then you convert off to the left here and go into what I like to call bamboo Avenue uh, which because there's a lot of bamboo uh, bamboo that grows right here in this area which I chopped it all down uh, last year there to uh, Get, all, get rid of all the vegetation and stuff like that so you can still see some of it coming, kind of coming back there. But uh, get all the uh, rocks and concrete and stuff like that uh, put out there. And uh, some of these rocks and concrete has been here for many, many years. Uh, just uncovered it all. But let's get back. So you got three different ways said i got a actually working waterfall right there too just a picture opportunity all right so one of the things about the park here is that it has a lot of natural dips and hills from the tree roots and stuff like that so it's really awesome here's part of the creek right here the other part of the creek is back there probably another 50 feet or so is where the main creek is but this is a little fresh hole i guess it comes into okay <laughs> all right so talked about the three inches there so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down the main entrance of it. Now, the way I designed it, and it was a totally freak accident that this happened, is that all the trails lead in together. Some, somehow or another, they all come in together, all right? So, here we are on the main trail. Now, I hadn't really came up a name for this little uh, doodad that I did kind of like a suspension tester so basically it makes your vehicle flex and stuff like that now turn around there's a tall house I actually be honest I found this on the side of the road next to a trash pile and I was like whoa no way I'm gonna take it I'll put it back there I'll definitely do something with it but uh, it was a nice addition to the park there all right so turn around all right, so we're gonna go down the trail here. And I got my first little scale building. Well, second little scale building. Uh, look at the sign. Break for possums. This is actually something my dad gave me. I thought it was funny. It's, it's supposed to say, I break for possums. But I said, you know, cut the eye off and say, break for possums. There's the TF2 sitting over there in front of the scale house. All right, so go over here. Just a little Tonka truck right there, tied to the tree there. But uh, there's a pathway right there. There's another pathway on the other side of it, leading into what I call Rocky Ridge, because it's very rocky over there and I got rocks scattered all the way around. Uh, <laughs> 
again when you come here at the little scale building here I got three different ways you can go again so I got you can go to the left which takes you down further then you got right here by the house which takes you there and it actually turns and goes that way <laughs> that way over there uh, yeah and then I got another little pathway that goes to the rocky ridge like I said now which way to go it's, it's kind of hard to, to uh, pick <laughs> alright so let's just go to the left here so like I said this is rocky ridge here a lot of different little pathways to run through and this is a great area for the 155 tires uh, a lot of my friends like to run on this uh, this part here just because of the rocky hilly kind of terrain which is hard to see on camera I'm stumbling around myself here but yeah so a little natural root systems on the trees coming over here scattered out all these rocks everywhere all right so coming up here to a uh, little hand-built bridge here that goes around the tree there's also some rocks piled around it a little obstacle to get that really cool uh, background shot of it for doing like photo opportunities and stuff like that that's one of the reason why I did that so you, well, you gotta have your vehicle flexed out a little bit all right so that goes around and uh, it goes back there which I'll show you all in that just a minute oh. <laughs> uh, got a briar on me thought I got rid of those <laughs> Oh, look at that. You hate those little picky thorny things. All right, get back to it. All right, so here in this pathway, you got two different ways you can go. Go to the left or go to the right. Now I got another little scale building here and this really cool uh, log bridge that I made which is very tough for the 1.55s because of the, just the gaps there. So you definitely have to stay right here to uh, really make it across. But it is really awesome. One of those sweet finds you find on the side of the road, but uh, I have it where you can drive your vehicle up and under, or under. <laughs> All right, so let's go this way. Come back here. This is a portion a lot of the guys really like as well. Uh, so I got these roots around the <laughs> rocks around the roots here. So uh, yeah, all right. So uh, I'm trying to figure out <laughs> where to take y'all because it is a little bit of a maze. So I got this one little path here, which uh, needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But then I uh, come over here. Now, I hadn't really came up with a name for this right here. This is a bunch of uh, pallets and an old uh, playground slide, which is one of those little wobbly ones. And I thought that was a good asset to put in there. All right. So this is a good view of the entire park itself. I did lay out a bunch of uh, number 57 stone on the path there uh, because some of these areas are kind of a little bit soupy in the area so I filled them up with the rocks which was really nice. So let's go. Now you can go around the tree and stuff like that. Look at these monster roots. The tree has some monster crazy roots. All right, and over here, there's the scale building right there, the bridge. Then I have this little rock ridge going around it, which is a lot of fun. And it's actually very kind of challenging for some of the vehicles that do come out here. It is a little bit challenging because it's kind of in a slanted zone way. So yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, so take a look at this crazy my stomach thing I put together and it's cool I like it I also have a little tunnel here which uh, I had this back in the day uh, we were running vehicles through what vehicles that could fit 
but yeah. All right, so a lot of, I tell you, I have a lot of different ways that you can go in this park here. There's so many different pathways, uh, different directions you can go. I made it where it's, it's small, but there's a lot to do, a lot to go. Um, so yeah, <laughs> all right. So let's continue back here. So I got uh, two more pathways, one going that way. Of course, you can go that way up under the bridge or you can go around. Now you do see these little uh, sticks are laid out. This is kind of like the borderline of knowing where the trails are at and stuff like that. So you, that way you kind of know when you play here, you'll know that the borderlines. Now, as you can see back here, it is an open area. Now, this was once part of the park back in the day when I did start building this thing. But as I told you the story that the, uh, there were some beaver dams back here that flooded up the creek and everything, and the water would always come right up about here, and a little bit more it came up, but this was a general area where the water tend to stop at. So that's why I put the border lines there, so I'll know that past that point it gets flooded back there and it's also a little bit monkey under all those leaves and stuff if you unrake all the leaves you'll see the mushy water and stuff like that uh, which some of the guys really like playing in that uh, but yeah so, uh, so there you go the creek all right yeah, so all right, so pretty much back here at where we kind of started at. There's that cabin with the TF2 over there. So give you guys another uh, look at it. Took a lot of time to do this. Took me right at two and a half weeks just to remove the vegetation like stuff all like that right there there's a lot of vegetation and stuff like that and especially right now during the winter time it's all dead right now but it will grow back very rapid so i have to kind of keep my eye on this thing uh, during the summertime but it is so awesome my friends just to have a little place to play it's nothing too crazy but it's something for me to enjoy and have fun while i'm in this hobby and stuff and just to get out so Whenever I want to, I can get out and go back here and run, build, whatever. So, yeah. Oh, give you another overview of it. So, yeah. All right. So, just a lot of different pathways that you can go. A lot of stuff you can crawl over. It's just, uh, <laughs> I don't know, my friends. It's just some really... Um, cool place to be so yep yeah. so that is the RC Park WAC Walkabout Creek RC Park and there are a lot of little hidden gems that I put out throughout the park that you have to kind of discover and one of the things and if I can actually get the camera to zoom up there I'll show you little item that I put back here one of them and let's see if you can see I had an old RC battleship that doesn't work anymore and it is back there let's see all right I'm making sure that it's kind of dry we did have some rain the other day so just trying to make sure but there it is a little gem right there now it was floating at one time with with all the rain and stuff is finally sunk it and I just kind of left it there I think it looks really cool and uh, if I had a better lens could actually uh, see it all but uh, yeah all right so there he is so that is the tour of the RC park I try to do my best on this, my friends. It's just, there's so many different ways to go here that it's, it's hard to actually film it all. But, uh, there's pathways going over to the bridge over there. There's pathways going that way and this way. I mean, I have a lot of different pathways. 
and I still have more to build. Let me show you my uh, collection of rocks, concrete, wood, boards, cinder blocks, stuff to use to build the RC park with. So, and I've been collecting this for over a year now. Every job site I went to, I always look and see if there's anything I can use. So I definitely found some stuff that I can use. <laughs> but uh, there you go, my friends. My RC park here in the backyard. So lengthwise, I would say probably about 50 to 60 feet long with a lot of different trailing, of course, because I do like the trail aspect. And of course, as I said, I have a pretty open area to do some fast bashing runs and stuff like that, little heels and stuff too as well. But uh, yeah, there you go, my friends. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumb like button, comment, subscribe if you have not. Try not to blind you guys or blind myself, but <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. So there you go, my friends. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate you and every one of y'all. So there you go. All right, my friends. Well, you'll be seeing more of this park here very soon. So, uh, yeah. All right, my friends. See y'all later.